This is a relatively quick video about the two Chinese diesel heaters I installed. And I welded this little rack using the plates that came with the, the mounting plates that came with the heaters. So one faces this way and will blow out here through one of those vents. The other one blows the other way through a vent and is ducted back through one of the existing vents or ducts that goes back towards the bedroom. This line for the lower fan or the lower heater has fuel in it. The upper one is not yet primed and I'm working on that right now. This thing is giving me an E3, like Echo 3 error. There are magnets on the back of this fan and the unit checks to see that it's rotating and one of the magnets was sticking out too far and was catching, so I've got to fix that. But I did prime this one. This one, the upper one for the uh, front room here seems to be working fine as soon as it finishes priming. So here's the diesel marching along. Now I could have sucked diesel through these to prime them manually. I'm just using the pump, it's a pretty short run. Now, if you do that, it will try a couple times to get the diesel up into the unit. If it doesn't fire, eventually you will get an E10, Echo 10 error, and then you have to pull the fuse and let it reset and then try it again. So now that we've got diesel up here, it should fire up. And the air that's blowing on me right now should turn hot here in a minute. Houston, we have ignition. This exhaust pipe is hot and it vents out through uh, this was the original air intake and exhaust vent for the suburban propane furnace that sat back in this big space. And it was not particularly efficient and we wanted to switch to diesel. So I vent both those out the upper and air intake on the lower. And we did that for quite a while as a practice, a test, and it worked really well. Well, this is a little creepy, I know. I'm trying to show the backside of that fan in there and it's got two magnets. I don't know if it just got pressed too far under the shaft because it does look, well, that sucks. That shaft is protruding about a 16th of an inch from the end of that fan rotor. So I don't know if this just got pressed onto the rotor too far or if the magnets are sticking out too far on the back, so I'll have to get in there with a the mirror and investigate that because I didn't realize it until I installed it. In no time, I go from Houston, we have ignition to Houston, we have a problem. I got the fan issue with the magnet resolved pretty easily just by trimming a bit of the plastic that the magnet was hitting. But you can see that both of these units at ambient temperature are indicating really different temperatures. It is not 336 degrees in here. So I've got a problem and now I've got to do a little bit of digging to try to figure that out. Not sure exactly where we left off, but in the last day I've been trying to troubleshoot this. I've only got one of these heaters working. And it's more important that we have the heat in the front of the bus than in the back of the bus. So this one right now is not working. I had that weird temperature reading. You saw it was reading basically 340 some odd uh, degrees centigrade, while the ambient temperature, according to the other one, was accurate at 34 degrees. So the first thing I did was try to swap the temperature sensors. And they're held in with this little clip, if I can get in there. You pull this up, there's a little hole. You pull this up, pry that out, or it levers, it swings out, and then this temperature sensor comes off. And it's plugged into the board right here. So I swapped the temperature probes or sensors and that did nothing. The next thing I did was 
swap out the circuit cards, which are mounted on the side right here with one screw and this little clip. And swapping out the circuit card got the other heater working. So that identifies it as a bad circuit card here. I'm not going to dig more deeply into components or anything like that. So I've um, contacted the seller, told them I need a new circuit card, and then we'll get this one going too. But anyway, that was the issue. Sometimes those uh, E04 errors are not really the fuel pump. There's another potential, which is a temperature sensor. But then when I started getting those other error codes, that was a pretty good sign that there was a, a bigger problem with the electronics.